Hey everyone! Today we'll learn about dicyclomine, which is an anticholinergic agent. This is the structure of dicyclomine. There are, as the name indicates, there are two cyclic rings, hence dicyclo, and there is an amino group. So dicyclomine. To the amino group, two ethyl groups are attached, and there is a CH2, 2 CH2, O, C double bond O. So these two cyclic rings are connected to each other. And that is the structure of dicyclomine. Then let's take a look at the mechanism of action of dicyclomine. It's it has partial antagonism of mascarinic receptors, anti-mascarinic activity, M1 and M2 receptor antagonism, and also partially antagonism of histamine and bradykinin. So these are the two important actions of dicyclomine, anti-mascarinic activity and antagonism of histamine and bradykinin. It blocks the M1 and M2 receptors and hence the dicyclamine acts as a smooth muscle relaxant. So the uses of dicyclamine are, it is an antispasmodic, it relieves muscle spasms in GIT, it's used to treat irritable bowel syndrome. Let us look at the synthesis of dicyclomine. First, we have cyanocyclohexane. Cyano, this is the cyano group. This is cyclohexane. Combines with cyclohexyl bromide to form one cyano by cyclohexane. So these two cyclic rings combine. And here the cyano group minus Br. So one cyano bicyclohexane. Two cyclic hexane rings. This undergoes alcohol lysis. Lysis in the presence of alcohol C2H5OH by H to form ethyl ester of. 1 bicyclohexane carboxylic acid. See, ethyl ester. It is an ethyl ester. RCOOR dash is ester. So, ethyl ester of 1 bicyclo, 1 bicyclohexane carboxylic acid. Ethyl ester of, ethyl ester of. 1 bicyclohexane carboxylic acid. So this compound undergoes alcoholysis to form this. Now, 2 diethyl aminoethanol reacts with this, and the process is called transesterification. So transesterification is the exchange of this group with the group of this alcohol. So this gets replaced with this whole thing. So this is 2-diethyl aminoethanol. 2-diethyl aminoethanol. The rest is ethanol. So this is an alcohol. And this ethyl group is replaced with the R dash group of alcohol. Hence this is removed and in the place of that this comes this this whole thing comes here so that is called transesterification and the final finally we get dicyclomine once again cyanocyclohexane combines with cyclohexyl bromide to form one cyano bicyclohexane, it undergoes alcoholysis to form 
ethyl ester of 1 bicyclohexane carboxylic acid, which undergoes trans esterification in the presence of 2 diethyl amino ethanol to form dicyclomine.